Well, it's Sunday and here's the news. Let's play Twister, let's play Not a ton of interesting articles, but there's a few that are probably pretty important. So the first one we're going to talk about is the protests at the mine. Now, as some people may or may not know, the Chinese have, have mining operations that are in the Cajas, which is where the water supply is for Cuenca. And so, of course, you have a lot of people that aren't happy with that, particularly looking at the track record of the Chinese throughout the world in their mining operations. They come in and pollute the groundwater and tear things up and leave big holes in the ground and take off. There isn't much choice about having the Chinese here uh, taking, taking from the mines because Ecuador is heavily in debt and the mine operations were the equity. So essentially, to borrow the money, they had to agree to give them these mines. So what happened was you had a bunch of people protesting, show up at the mines, trying to block the operation. The firebomb went off into a, a barracks building, burnt that down. So the police and the military were dispatched, and there were about 300 of them. And they put down the protest. Spokesman for the protesters uh, said, for the people who have lived here for many generations, water is life. Our interest should come before those of the Chinese who only want to destroy the earth so they can take gold back to China. And that pretty much sums it up. Okay, another article of interest is the San Francisco Plaza that took a number of years to decide on what they were going to do with it and they finally came up with a decision uh, and they put went to work last year they put all the vendors off onto a street and the news is that the completion is scheduled for july so it'll be real nice to see that open back up again and um you know i think we're all curious to what it's going to look like it certainly is a big aspect of tourism it's a big aspect of shopping, so it'll be nice to have that back. That market has existed for well over 100 years in that very location. It will not just be a market. Once it's completed, they say there's going to be uh, concerts, lectures, art shows, public gatherings of all sorts will be there. So it'll be a multi-use area. It sounds good. Well, this would be big news if it were really good news. Surge in oil prices will help economy, but production must increase, experts say. Uh, yeah, they can't meet the, there's a minimum, there's a cap on production that's put on OPEC, which they are a member, and they've been unable to even reach that cap, which is put there when oil prices are down. Similar to the mining, that oil is primarily pledged to China, uh, for a number of years to also go to paying off their debt. So while the oil prices go up, Ecuador is not really going to see a, a big boost. I'm not sure why the article is, they're not really saying it, but they're implying it. Uh, what it will do will speed up the length of time it takes to pay that debt. So that's a good thing. But uh, if those oil prices doubled overnight, uh, people of Ecuador won't see that for a while. And this article, more than 4,000 video surveillance cameras are credited with the drop of Ecuador's crime rate. I found it interesting because it wasn't so many years ago when people talked about surveillance camera, Big Brother came to mind, and there weren't very many people for it. And now it seems that it's being embraced the world over. They're saying that the video cameras have are credited with the drop of crime, uh, murder rate. They, they claim that uh, Ecuador has the third lowest murder rate in the Western Hemisphere. Of course, the article doesn't say what they base that on, so I'm a little confused about that. 
They also have one of the smallest populations of any country in the Western Hemisphere because it's a very small country, about the size of Colorado. So um, it, it didn't say a whole lot, but it, it was mostly a glowing article for these video surveillance cameras and the 911 centers. Now, a few years ago, the 911 centers and going back uh, weren't useful at all. Now, according to this article, they've become very useful and they're stopping crime. And I, I don't know enough about it and there's not enough public information that I have seen really to make any judgment on it. So it's a glowing article. I guess we just accept it at that. Wave high when you walk by the camera. In the last article for today, this got my sarcastic juices growling. There's not a lot to say about it, but it's an article, Tips for Exploring Latin America on a Budget. And it's a pretty lengthy article. And the tips really boil down to take a bus. So on that note, see you next Sunday.